Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit. This is the month of October. We are in Poetry Thursday territory, so we are going to read a poem by Edgar Allan Poe called Ulalum. It's quite a long poem, uh, but let's just read it, shall we? Okay. The skies, they were ashen and sober. The leaves, they were crisped and sere. The leaves, they were withering and sere. It was night in the lonesome October of my most immemorial year. It was hard by the dim lake of Alber in the misty mid-region of Weir. It was down by the dank tarn of Alber in the ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. Here once, through an alley titanic of Cyprus, I roamed with my soul. Of Cyprus, with Psyche, my soul. These were days when my heart was volcanic as the Soraic rivers that roll, as the lavas that restlessly roll their sulfurous currents down Yannick in the ultimate climbs of the pole, that groan as they roll down Mount Yannick in the realms of the Boreal Pole. Our talk had been serious and sober, but our thoughts, they were palsied and sere. Our memories were treacherous and sere, for we knew not the month was October, and we marked not the night of the year. Ah, night of all nights in the year. We noted not the dim lake of Auber, though once we had journeyed down here, remembered not the dank tarn of Auber, nor the ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir. And now, as the night was senescent, star dials pointed to morn, as the star dials hinted of morn, at the end of our path a liquescent and nebulous luster was born, out of which a miraculous crescent arose with a duplicate horn, a starts, a diamond crescent distinct with its duplicate horn. And I said, she is warmer than Diane. She rolls through an ether of sighs. She revels in a region of sighs. She has seen that the tears are not dry on these cheeks where the worm never dies and has come past the stars of the lion to point us the path to the skies, to the Lithian peace of the skies. Come up, in despite of the lion, to shine on us with her bright eyes. Come up through the layer of the lion with love in her luminous eyes. But Psyche, uplifting her finger, said, Sadly, this star I mistrust. Her pallor I strangely mistrust. Ah, hasten, let us not linger. Ah, fly, let us fly, for we must. In terror she spoke, letting sink her wings until they trailed in the dust, in agony sobbed, letting sink her plumes till they trailed in the dust, till they sorrowfully trailed in the dust. I replied, this is nothing but dreaming. Let us on by this tremulous light. Let us bathe in this crystalline light. Its sibyllic splendor is beaming with hope and in beauty tonight. See, it flickers up the sky through the night. Ah, we safely must trust to its gleaming and be sure it will lead us aright. We safely must trust to a gleaming that cannot but guide us aright since it flickers up to heaven through the night. Thus I pacified Psyche, and kissed her, and tempted her out of her gloom, and conquered her scruples and gloom, and we passed to the end of the vista, but were stopped by the door of a tomb, by the door of a legended tomb. And I said, What is written, sweet sister, on the door of this legended tomb? She replied, Lalum, Lalum. Tis the vault of thy lost Ulalum. And my heart, it grew ashen and sober as the leaves that were crisped and sear, as the leaves that were withering and sear. And I cried, it was surely October on this very night of last year that I journeyed, I journeyed down here, that I brought a dread burden down here on this night of all nights in the year. Ah, what demon hath tempted me here? Well, I know now this dim lake of Arbor this misty mid-region of Weir. Well, I know now this dank torn of Arbor, this ghoul-haunted woodland of Weir.
that was that. Uh, I hope I said everything right. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, thank you. Goodbye.